Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel of College Process once again. I'm Ed from Principia Prep, and today we're gonna to be going over at what income level is financial aid game over. But before we begin, if you are new to the channel and looking for additional college content, please hit the subscription button down below. It will notify you when new videos do come out. As well as, once again, every Friday going forward, if you guys have any questions on this video or any of the videos here on the channel, please leave your questions down below in the comment section. As many of you already know, every Friday I go into the comment section, answer every single question you guys leave on here make it into a video and then put it back here on YouTube so everyone has detailed answers to all their questions. As well as we are still running for senior class, the James Russo Memorial Scholarship. Once again, that's our organization's scholarship program here. If you want more information about our scholarship program for your students out there, very simple, down in the description down below is a link to the James Russo Memorial Scholarship video explaining to you guys how we give out scholarship money here at our organization for seniors going off to college. As well as also in the description down below is also our organization's demo as well as our bias coffee. If you want to help support your channel, allowing us to keep making these college videos for you guys out there. And all of that being said, let's jump right into today's video. At what income level is financial aid game over? Now, the first thing you have to understand about this process here, about this video here, in the world of financial aid, there's two different types of financial aid out there, three types of financial aid, grants and scholarship money. So right off the bat, just to get that out of the way, scholarship money, also known as merit aid, they don't care about your income whatsoever. So as far as scholarships go, if you're talking about scholarships entering into college for the first year, or if you're in college and you have a scholarship, no matter how much money you make, it's not gonna affect your scholarship whatsoever. So that out of the way, let's talk about the second part, grant aid. Here, income does matter, it matters a lot, obviously. The more income you make, the less grant money the schools are able to give you, either through institutional grant money, their own money, state grant money if you stay in state as a resident, or if you're looking at essentially also federal aid, the higher their income, the less aid available on the grant side. And of course, when I say income, I'm talking about adjusted gross income. And also, one more thing to consider too, there is a big difference, a major factor here when you're talking grant money, when you're dealing with different colleges. And I mean, different colleges, I mean there's a difference between public school funding and private school funding. Most of the time, good, bad, or different, the private school is gonna have a lot more money in their endowment to be more generous. So even though you'll see as you go through the process of looking for colleges, so on and so forth, building your list, that private colleges are typically a lot more expensive, some cases two, in some cases even three times more expensive than the public schools you might be looking at. The reality is the public schools, unfortunately, the public colleges do not have as much funding available as the private schools do. The private colleges have way bigger endowments, so they're able to be more generous. So even though their costs are higher, as your income goes up, very likely, they're more willing and more able to give you grant money regardless of how high your income gets to some points. And with those things out of the way, let's start going over the income numbers. Like right off the bat, let's talk about incomes from zero to 50,000 just to gross. Right at the bat, at $50,000 of income or below, you can expect basically maximum amount of grant money available to you. You're gonna be getting Pell Grants, SEOG Grants from the federal government. You'll be able to get state grants if you stay in state. The colleges themselves will be able to give you a ton of grant money because of the fact that your income is low enough where you basically meet the criteria of all three financial aid sources of grant money. So here, 50,000 and below, you guys should be eligible for a ton of grant money. Now let's talk about the next level, $51,000 of income up to $100,000 of income. Now what we're gonna see is we're gonna start losing some financial aid assistance here. Closer you get to the $100,000 mark, Pell Grants, SCOG Grants, money given to you by the federal government is starting to erode. You're basically getting to the point where there was, is no federal aid whatsoever. As well as when it comes to state aid, when it comes to state aid, the closer you get to the $100,000 mark, the more likely you're not gonna get any state aid at all. At the $100,000 mark or so, once you get to this level or get close to it or above, any state money is pretty much gone. There are a few states out there that do provide aid between the $100,000 mark and a little bit above that, and those are the California state schools as well as New York state schools. But outside of that, once you hit the $100,000 mark, you're really just looking at private schools being able to give you grant money of any kind. And with that out of the way, let's talk about $101,000 income all the way up to $150,000 in income. At this level, you exhausted there is no federal aid whatsoever. You've also exhausted the state aid very likely because as close as you get to 150, it's very likely there's no state aid available whatsoever. Here, the only real sources of grant money availability to you really are only coming in from the private schools. Now, let me give you an example. So at the 150 mark, basically here, they're expecting you, the colleges, the financial aid forms are indicating you guys can afford to pay somewhere between 30 to $40,000. So at this level here, Realistically, only private schools have availability to give you guys grant money to help out paying with the bill. Even if the forms are saying that you're paying thirty or forty thousand dollars a year, the reality is, if you're looking at a college that costs sixty, seventy, eighty, even ninety thousand dollars, that some of these private schools cost nowadays, the reality is these schools, since they have huge endowment funds, 
are going to reward you guys with tens of thousands of dollars of grant money, big reductions. In some cases, 50, 60% reductions in cost, in some cases even more, even with 100,000 up to $150,000 of income. In fact, since here we're only talking about one level of grant money availability because the federal money is out of the way, the state money is out of the way, so the only thing left right now is the institutional aid. The reality is your income can actually go all the way up to around $250,000 for private universities and colleges, and they would still be able to give you financial aid grant money, believe it or not. Now obviously the money's dwindling down because the higher your income goes, the lower opportunities for aid available because the financial aid forms are indicating you guys can pay more of your income towards college. If you're looking at those private schools, once you get to that 250 mark, really any college at this point in time, $250,000 of income or higher, at this point in time, you really only have two options. You really need to start looking at schools that offer scholarship money. That's goal number one. Because once again, as we mentioned in the beginning of the video, regardless if your income is 50,000, 100,000, 300,000, even a million dollars, if your student is eligible for scholarship money of any kind based on their academic merits, so we have to look at scholarship schools as an opportunity. Schools that will provide scholarship opportunities for our student going off there. For that information, obviously, you contact the admissions office. Pretty much every admissions office, by the way, is very candid, very open. You can ask them any questions you like. You can say to them, my student has this GPA, this test score, SAT, ACT, etc. Would we get any scholarship money here? And they're very very candid, very open about it. And then the second thing you should be looking at is if you are making 250,000 after looking at the scholarship considerations at these colleges is increasing your income. Because of the fact that once you get to that $250,000 mark, financial aid is pretty much gone at all levels. State levels, federal levels, institutional, institutional grant money itself, the colleges and endowment funds are no longer able to help you. So your goal is really to get that scholarship money in place or increase your income to allow it to be not too much of a burden when the student starts school. So those are the different levels you're looking at. At the $50,000 mark, you guys are looking at the $50,000 level adjusted gross income, all financial aid is available to you on the grant side, all three different levels, state, federal, and institutional. As you get closer to the $100,000 level, you lose the federal money, you still have some state eligibility, but it's dwindling down. Then once you get to that 125 to 150 level, you're really only looking at the institution itself, typically private schools more than likely, will be able to give you grant money, all the way up until that 250 mark. So 250,000 is really the cutoff work. So there's almost no chance of getting grant money, to be honest with you, whether you're talking public or private colleges, because of the fact at that point, the financial aid forms will indicate you guys make too much money to be able to get any financial assistance on the free money side, the grant stuff. Now, that being said, if you guys have any questions, put your questions down below in the comment section. And then every Friday, I make a video answering all your questions and put it back on YouTube in video format with detailed answers to all the questions you guys have. So that way, everyone gets their answers out there. As well as if you do enjoy today's video, please leave us a like it does help the channel as well as on the screen my contact information if you guys need help in the process whatsoever I do do zoom meetings with parents one-on-one -on -one to help out with the financial aid or admissions process just feel free to text me that's the easiest way to reach me that's actually my cell phone number on the screen or even just send me an email either way I'll get back to you guys other than that thank you for watching today's video once again my name is Ed from Principia Prep